I want to talk about fighting for your right to play. In Article 31 of the United Nations Convention for Children's Rights, it says all children are allowed to play, to relax, and to experience culture in many different forms. I'm quoting freely. But that means playing is a human right, at least up until the age of 18. That is for almost every single country in the world that is part of the treaty. It's basically everyone except the USA. And in practice, USA has also kind of accepted it. It's something about homeschooling, which is the problem. But for someone like me, who believe in the importance of play and playfulness, it's nice to see that also the United Nations is valued. It is something that is important. It is something we care for. And everybody should have the right to it. It's hard for me a white man in Sweden where I can just walk out into the forest and be here. It's hard for me to see that, that it would not be available. But this is not something that everybody has. There are still parts of the world where we have child labor, where you can't be a kid. Now that is awful. That is not what this video is about. Because there's also other ways that play, playfulness, and the exploration that's usually a part of it can be taken from you. And it can be taken from you all in situations where you don't see it as disappearing. Or and especially if you're not part of it, you don't see it disappearing for others because you don't look in that direction. Here in Sweden, I have both the legal and the social right to walk out in the forest and just explore it. So does my child. Part of that is because I can afford to walk out in the forest, because I can reach the forest. There's a lot of people in a socio-economical situation making it impossible for them to actually get here. But if they do, the forest belongs to all of us. And we can go here, and our children can go here to play. Play traces. But if you can't go here, you need to find other places. Backyards, squares, the side of the street. And there people might ask you a bit more why you are there. They might be questioning your reasons. Maybe it's not play, maybe it's vandalism. Maybe those two kids behind the garbage can is doing drugs and threatening people. Maybe even mugging someone. Or is it just hide and seek? This is a socio-economical situation, of course. Some can afford it, some can't. But it also has to do with ethnicity. Sadly, we are looking at different people in different ways. I can't even imagine not daring to let my kid out. But there are parents who are afraid. There are people who need to tell their children to be careful almost all the time. And not only careful for the dangerous people out there. Careful for the people who should save us. The ordinary person on the street, the police. And for those children, that basic human right to play is taken away. As I said, I can't even imagine this because I'm not in that situation. There are other people who are. We need to put ourselves in those other shoes to understand it. We need to fight for the right to play.